Hello and welcome. Today we will be going through the Optisys for Sim Center 3D tutorials. This is the Topography Tutorial 3. Topography of a flat plate for modal performance using symmetry. As you can see here, I have already loaded up the sim file. The first thing you are going to do is run a simple analysis. Just going to click here and then go solve. OK. Close all the windows. And take a look at the results. For this tutorial, we're looking at mode 7. Here you can see the displacement from the effects of the frequency. Once you're happy with that, click on return to home and under the Optisys ribbon click on thickness click on topography optimization this opens up the optimization setup window containing five different tabs the first tab subcases has us clicking on both torsion and the modal we can then click next we then come to the design rules tab where we're going to click new under this new design rule we are going to set the upper limit as it is at one and the lower limit to be zero the shape vector is to be normal to surface shape control sphere radius or the radius of two we will then set the coordinate system under the selection menu, I'll set it to just select coordinate systems and we want it for the entire assembly. We're just going to click on the center part there. Because this is a symmetric shape and we want to import symmetry, we are going to check the YZ mirror box and the mirror ZX box. Click OK. And then selecting the property we're going to add the rule. Once you're happy with that, we are going to click next and have the gold type set to maximize frequency. We will leave the fixed mass box empty as no further mass has been added for this optimization. We can click on the subcase here and then holding it down under the mode, we're going to change it to seven. Click next. No further constraints are required, so again we'll click next. Under the settings tab, we will only change the design cycles from 15 to 60. We'll click OK. And the model is now ready for an optimization. We'll click solve. Once it, that has finished running, we will then close the window and take a look at the design history. Here we can see the design objective, which is in this case the frequency, has in fact increased as the design cycles have continued. So we know the optimization has worked. We can close this window and then we will take a look at the shape contour that has been produced. Under the Optisys ribbon, click on Shape Contour, Load Results, and it's the latest cycle. Here you can see the effect of the topography for the optimization. Note that depending on your version of Optisys, the pattern will look slightly different, but as long as it shows some form of symmetry, because this is a symmetric shape you know it is fine we have also checked the design history which also shows that the optimization has worked we can then close that and apply the results to a new model so again cycle 44 okay and yes and as you can see now the new shape has been created through the topography optimization this concludes the tutorial